Hey tribe, welcome to your weekend slash full moon in Leo reading. This is going to be a message for all signs, all placements. We are going to hop right into what you need to know in regards to this weekend, what energy you're going to be in and what's shifting for you as we enter into the full moon in Leo. Okay, it's taking place tomorrow, February the 5th. Um, and if you find yourself liking this content, go ahead and hit that like button. It definitely helps to reciprocate the energy here on the channel and it helps to keep the content flowing here as well. So let's see. Clarity confirmation for the collective Holy Spirit. What is it that we need to know? Starting off with the Moonology deck messages for the collective this weekend and the full moon energy. What's shifting spirit? What is it that we need to know? Clarity confirmation. Thank you. All right, so we have, okay, so luck is on your side, Collective. Uh, this is New Moon and Sagittarius Energy. So there is something uh, that you guys might be working towards, finalizing, cycling out, closing out. I feel like it's going to, it's almost like you're going to receive the, reap the rewards of it or receive the benefits of it um, very soon in a new future, near future, excuse me. It could be around the New Moon, which is approximately two weeks from tomorrow. Um, so let's see where this is headed. Take time to breathe out. Yeah. So, you know, something may be, um, you know, right now shifting into the, the, the full moon, shifting into the weekend, something may be delayed or on hold, um, on pause or just not very clear. Okay. It could be regarding anything or anyone, but I feel like spirit is wanting you to know that this is going to work out for you regardless. So take time to breathe out, take time to relax your mind, your energy, your spirit. Um, try not to overthink or overwork yourself at this time. Try not to, um, jump to conclusions or be, you know, very impulsive with your actions right now. So let's see. And show the world the real you. Yeah, it kind of, it feels like your time is coming. Like your time is coming for something, some sort of position, job, um, contract, relationship. Like your time is coming to kind of be in a desirable energy, a desirable space or place in your life. A desirable connection is going to be different for everyone. Um, but right now you're being asked to have patience. You're being asked to... Um, to be disciplined, okay? You're being asked to work on surrendering whatever is going on in your life, your circumstances, in your head, your emotions, whatever's going on in your life to surrender that up to the divine because your, your time is coming. Like something here is promised, is gonna work out for you, but right now may not, it may not seem that way or may not, right now might not be the time to kind of like, you know, execute or take action or something like that collective. Um, and then we have have faith in your dreams. So yeah, just because something is not happening, I keep getting just because something is not happening right now or the way that you want it to, or at the pace that you would like it to does not mean that it's not going to happen for you or it's not promised for you. Okay. That could be a confirmation. Okay. Double confirmation here. Um, let me silence that you guys. Um, but yeah, silencing something about, it's like y'all are waiting for something. You're waiting for an it moment. You're waiting for a message. You're waiting for a breakthrough. You're waiting on somebody to reciprocate the energy. You're waiting for something. Um, and it, it really feels like your patience and your faith is being tested right now because of whatever's, you know, taking place or whatever's not taking place in your circumstances. So Let's see what the love oracle has to say. I'm interested to know what's going on with you guys in terms of like love and relationships. Um, so let's see. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Capricorn. We have addiction at the bottom of the deck. Um, and we have unexpected here too. So you could be receiving a very unexpected message this weekend. Okay. Or entering into the full moon. Um, clarity confirmation with that addiction and unexpected. It feels like this communication um, it's coming from someone who may have, you know, a lot of feelings, okay, emotions for you, or there's just something that you did not quite see coming, maybe from this particular person or just in general here, whatever this, um, this message, this phone call that you're getting, this news that you're getting, signs and synchronicities is showing up here too, okay, yeah, secret crush, I feel like a lot of you guys, it may be someone in your energy um, that you you kind of know is interested in you or you are kind of interested in this person. 
Um, there's a lot of signs that are pointing to yes, that are pointing to go. Um, or there's a lot of signs about, you know, something or someone being in alignment with you be, or you being in alignment with, with them. Okay. It's a lot of, um, a lot of feelings of like mutual energy here, but something is just not solid or it hasn't been said. It hasn't been spoken. It hasn't been locked in. It's like a lot of clues. It's a lot going, um, going on. That's like, it's very indirect here. Yeah. Truth just fell out here. <laughs> okay. So y'all are going to get this truth. Y'all are going to get this message. Y'all are going to get this clarity. It fell out with a secret crush. Okay, again, so let's see. Clarity confirmation. Friends. Okay, this could be somebody that you're friends with. Friends of a friend. Friends with benefits. Something like that. Um, if you're wondering where a situation is going. Truth. Okay. Clarity confirmation. Truth is coming up here heavy again. Libra energy could be significant. Spiritual awakening. Okay. Yeah. Romantic feelings. I feel like you guys are, um, you are either awakening someone, okay, or, or someone is awakening these romantic feelings within you. Or again, it feels like something here is very mutual, but it's like a, an unspoken um, bond or unspoken contract or some sort of like deeply felt but unspoken feeling. Something does not feel like it's, you know, it's been solidified here or it's like a big elephant in the room that has not been addressed. Okay. And that could be making you very anxious. Um, that could be making you feel a lot of different emotions, you and someone or someone else. Um, but I feel like it's coming to some sort of, you know, something that's not all for nothing. It's come to, it's coming to some sort of breaking for, point here or like, you know, a boiling point here. Um, and then we have ghosted here. Okay. So let me see what's at the bottom. Roll the dice. Ooh. So for, okay. So for a lot of you guys, you're in a situation where you're just, you know, you're completely lost. Like you don't know what's going on. Um, maybe something was on, on a, a good route, a good path with someone else. Okay. Or some sort of situation seemed as if it was going good, but now there's a lack of communication. Okay. Or now there's like a pause, like I said, or a break or a lack of clarity. Maybe now there's some sort of silence. If there's somebody that's pulled back from you, uh, with this ghost of energy, I feel like it's because they, um, they're feeling a lot of like emotions here with spiritual awakening and romantic feelings. Like they're, they're feeling, there's a lot, um, that they are feeling because of you or in regards to you. And I feel like that has kind of like maybe, you know, made this person anxious or intimidate this person or make them, you know, pull back their energy, scare this person, roll the dice. Cause they're trying to figure something out here. Okay. So let's see. We have home. Yeah. We have new love. Okay. Somebody has a lot of like very strong feelings for you. And then we have family. Wow. Okay. It kind of feels like somebody is afraid, like they're scared of everything that you, that you come with or everything that you have to offer or however it is that you're, you've showed up. Okay. To this person in their life. Um, for a lot of you, this has been someone that it just feels like something that has not necessarily really gotten off the ground as of yet. It does feel fairly new. It does feel like maybe this was like a situation ship or somebody you were dating or something like that. But I am getting that somebody does want it all with you or somebody can see like, um, you know, having some sort of full foundation here with you. Something about blended families could be significant for some of you guys. Okay. Um, behind road of dice. Yeah. We have liquid courage and we have music. Okay. We have heartbreak for some of you guys, you know, um, faded meeting breakup. This person could be fresh out of a situation or there's something that's just very, you know, it's still very sensitive, um, to them. They're, they're still very much so in a vulnerable space, um, due to like something that did not work out in the recent past. Okay. Um, so that could be, you know, why this person is very uncomfortable. It's like they enjoy your energy. They enjoy your time. But at the same time, you know, they're there. They need to figure some things out with the roll of dice here. So um, this I feel like some of you guys could be dealing with someone. This could be you or some of y'all could be dealing with someone that is really working on, you know, themselves, their shadow work and healing and closing out some sort of major cycle or heartbreak or something like that. Um, and that's necessary before they can move towards you. So, so somebody here is, you know, um, they're not trying to move too fast or they're not trying to ruin something before it really gets started with you guys. But I feel like they, they may or may not be fully communicating that. Okay. And that could be causing some sort of confusion for you. Um, but let's see, we have the King of Wands could be dealing with the Leo Aries Sagittarius. 
Um, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Moon card, the Empress. Yeah, so for a lot of you guys, again, this person is very attracted to you. You're attracted to this person. Um, or if this is you, I feel like you're feeling very confident. There's something or someone that you want to pursue, but it's like not yet. Like this can't happen yet. This can't come into fruition yet because there still needs to be some loose ends tied up here. Um, it concerns to like anything, you know, like your healing, a past relationship, something here is going to be different for everybody. So let's see. Clarity confirmation, Holy Spirit for the collective this weekend. Okay. Moving into the full moon. In Leo energy, what is it that we need to know? Okay, so the world card um, and the emperor fell out here. Aries, Taurus, double Taurus. Okay, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy here. And again, it feels like, so the world card, this is about, you know, the cycle ending moon energy here. I feel like, um, you know, something needs to be closed out here. Something needs to be dealt with before somebody can like fully show up for you guys. One second. All right, y'all. So yes, there is a cycle that needs to be closed out um, or somebody is taking the initiative to close out a cycle or do the work or do whatever needs to be done. OK, in order for them to like show up um, for you or this is you in this energy, you are taking the initiative to do whatever needs to be done um, to show up for yourself or show up for another person here. OK, um, or take or have some sort of, you know, take some sort of leap, take some sort of risk is what I'm getting here. A leap of faith. All right, so let's see what else comes out. Clarity, confirmation, Holy Spirit for the collective. This weekend, full moon energy was showing up. What energy will we be in? Clarity, confirmation. Okay, so we do have the Nine of Swords. Let's see. Yeah, somebody is uh, the Seven of Wands. It kind of feels like, you know, somebody in this energy is very guarded here. And the Seven of Swords here. Um... There's the energy here of someone being worried about like, you know, not being able to fully show up, okay, for you or you for them or, you know, there's some feelings of doubt that are here. Um, there's there's something here that has happened uh, that's tied to the recent past with the Nine of Swords that's creating anxiety, okay, for you or this person that's wanting to move towards you. Okay, and then we have the Page of Cups here, though. Page of Cups, but there's a desire. Knight of Cups, um, Three of Pentacles, Temperance, the Emperor, and the Six of Pentacles. Honestly, it just, I mean, it feels like someone who is being honest with themselves. Um, and for the most part, honest with you, even if they are not necessarily like vocal at this point in time, or even if you are unaware of like who this is for you. Um, but this is someone that is, um, and this is Leo energy too, Seven of Wands. This is someone, um, this is someone that's like very protective of the future, whether this is you and you're very protective of like your future or your future with someone, or this is someone else that's very protective of like what the future could be with you. Like this is someone not wanting to mess something up here. So I feel like they are kind of guarded or they do have, you know, some sort of boundary in place or something like that. Um, but I feel like they're gonna, you know, eventually break out this energy with the page of cups. This is something new, something fun, something lighthearted. Um, a new offer here. What's the nine of swords? Clarity confirmation. Now, also I'm getting that somebody might be dealing with something here. You or somebody else could be dealing with something, okay, from their past or something mentally, emotionally, you know, it could be a situation, a person from their past, something like that, that, that you don't, they're not really letting you in on. You don't know the full details about, um, somebody's just really trying to deal with something on their own. Um, they may feel like it would be like detrimental to like you guys is like growth or the way you see them or something like that too. What's the nine of swords? Clarity confirmation. What's the nine of swords for the collective? Let's see. Yeah. So we have the eight of pentacles. Uh, we have the five of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. And then we have the 10 of swords. Yeah, and I also kind of feel like, too, um, yeah, somebody here is, like, really going through a heavy transition, okay? Or they're about to be, okay? This could be you or someone else, but this does feel like recent past energy. Um, something that they were giving their time, attention, and effort into has come to a stop, a haul, an ending, some sort of betrayal here. 
It could be dealing with, you know, a relationship or it could be dealing with a person's finances or something like that. Um, and then we have the star card here and then you show up. OK, or and then this person shows up in your life, however, this resonates for you. Um, and this is Aquarius energy. This is happening in the now. Um, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Cups. OK, the Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's like somebody, you know, it feels like they admire you. They may be maybe like slightly intimidated by you or just they're very cautious when it comes to um moving things forward with you right now okay or you are with this person um or you are in regards to whatever this is okay that you're um you're focused on what's the seven of wands 30 confirmation what's the seven of wands it feels like somebody's trying to find the balance here within themselves like how to protect themselves but also how to like protect or preserve you know some sort of situation with you uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. We have the Death card. Yeah. And we have the Five of Wands is here. But I, I do feel like... Um, I feel like there's some sort of inspiration. I feel like someone here wants to fight. Somebody wants to get over some sort of hump. Um, they want to heal. They want to transition. They want to move forward. But like I said, it's it's a process here. There's something about needing to trust the process, okay, with the death card, because this is the transition. This is death and rebirth, okay? Somebody's going through a very heavy transition here um, this weekend, or they've, you know, maybe it started in the recent past. They've been going through it, but it, it's becoming very apparent, or maybe it's being spoken on or something. Maybe some of you guys are coming out of the hardest part or whatever this is, or fighting through the hardest part of whatever this is, or this person, um, is really trying to detach and fight through and heal through whatever this is in order to move towards you. Yeah. Hierophant here. Okay. So Taurus energy, um, the will of fortune, the Knight of Swords, the Magician. For some of y'all, it's like somebody is battling here. Like, it just kind of feels like battling another energy or another person here. Um, and that could be the hold up. Or maybe you're battling a person or energy that's holding you up from something. Okay. What's the Seven of Swords? Heard the confirmation. What's the Seven of Swords? The Eight of Wands. I'm telling you, whoever this is, is a fighter. Okay. They're very ambitious, um, very resilient. It's a lot of Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. Um, but this is like fighting their way out. Okay. Fighting, finding their way out. Or this is you, the Eight of Wands, the Four of Swords, um, and the Justice. Okay. So we're ending the energy with the, with the Justice, with something being balanced out, something being fair here. Um, and it kind of feels like somebody is getting over some sort of, like I said, um, insecurities or mental anxiety or breaking the silence here. Okay. Um, breaking the silence, you know, in general. Okay. If you have not heard anything from this person or just like breaking the silence regarding a particular topic situation, like the elephant in the room here, like there's clarity that's coming. There's balance that's coming here. Yeah, two of swords, somebody is making a decision, okay? Or you're seeing eye to eye with someone. There's there's some sort of meeting of the minds that's happening here. What's the page of cups, spirit? Clarity confirmation, what's the page of cups? All right, so let's see. We have the knight of pentacles. We have the king of swords. And we have the moon card here. Okay, and we have the Tower card. We have the Page of Wands. Ooh, we have the King of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So it it kind of feels like somebody um somebody may have been like they needed time apart, or they've been studying you, or studying situation, or like doing their own work. Like I said, their own healing. But it, it feels like somebody's very close to making their mind up about you. Y'all could have um this is the Moon card. Actually, you could have uh, Cancer. Um, in your chart, but this is the moon card here, especially with the tower. The tower is giving me the vibe of, um, Scorpio could be significant Aquarius, but the tower, the page of wands, the king of cups and, um, the ace of pentacles, it's like, it's a lot of emotion here. Okay. Like somebody has been maybe guarded and trying to think, um, you know, act out of like logic, but there is a heavy sense of emotion, um, that's, that somebody can no longer hold back from you, you from them, or you from like whatever this is that your heart is desiring. What's the moon card? Final messages, clarity, confirmation, Holy Spirit. What's this moon card? 
or somebody's matching your energy, matching your emotion. Page of Pentacles, the Empress. Yep, seeing you as the Empress. Um, and the Magician and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so there is an offer here, a love offer, um, some sort of offer of emotional fulfillment. You are being viewed as the emperor or the or the empress along with the magician here. Somebody knows that you're solid, okay? They can make something work with you. They want to work with you or something like that or vice versa. Um, and in the end, this is what's going to win. Like love is going to win here. The emotions is going to win here. The energy is going to win here. Okay. So I'm going to leave it here. Leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you guys soon.